All right, Paul, this morning the wheels on the school bus are once again going around and round as the buses make their rounds all around town as the first day of school kicks off for many students out there. Yeah, and we've got team coverage at Ladue and Lindbergh this morning, so let's begin with Alex Fees in South County. Alex, um, what can the Flyers expect on their first day back? Well, they can expect some traffic issues, Michelle and Rennie. First things first here, they have a traffic issue out on South Lindbergh Boulevard here in front of Lindbergh High School. That is because of the first day of school, a new traffic pattern. School district officials, as a result, are asking people to avoid this area of South Lindbergh if they can, basically for a half hour at the beginning of the school day and a half hour at the end of the school day. And joining me now live this morning is Dr. Tony Lake, the superintendent. Dr. Lake, Prop R here in Lindbergh is not new. It was passed in 2019. 19, that's correct. What's it doing for you as far as space needs are concerned? So the, the main focus with Prop R was safety and security. So we had several of our buildings had some secure vestibules, but we really wanted to bring that standard across our district. So we've done that here at the high school. We've also done it at three of our elementaries and a couple of our middle schools. But as far as the high school goes, we really wanted to design a new school that allows flexibility for learning experience. So if you need a traditional kind of classroom, you can have that. Or if you need a larger, more open collaborative space, you can do that and have that space as well. Okay, and on that subject of security, I recall you telling me about Syntegix. What is Syntegix for students and staff? Yeah, it's a badging system that is Bluetooth enabled, and this badging system will be in all of our buildings starting today. Um, we're excited about that. It, it allows educators to deal with just normal everyday kinds of things that happen in school like a, a student fainting in your classroom well they have the ability to push their badge three times and it notifies the school administration the nurse exactly where that teacher is it'll notify them they will come to that area with their location it also allows teachers and staff to lock a building down so if they would see something that doesn't seem quite right they see somebody walking onto campus if they push that rapidly multiple times it will lock all of our buildings things down and send messages out over computer screens as well as the intercom system. All right, and Dr. Lake, our camera is going to go inside the commons here. Construction is finished here in the commons, but you have yes. some areas that are not finished. What are you telling students and staff about those areas? Yeah, so it's really just the site work out front. We're really encouraging our kids to stay out of the front, but the building itself is finished, and we're excited for our seniors who've been, uh, basically their high school career has been about construction. They finally get to enjoy the new space today. All right, that is Dr. Tony Lake. Dr. Lake, thank you. We are now going to watch and listen to the strolling strings, strings inside Lindbergh High School. Now, aren't they supposed to keep their arms at their sides? <laughs> They're doing a like great the job. Dance. <laughs> yeah. Looks good. Looks good.